Hello beautiful people and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I go from this to this as I share with you my easy summer makeup look. If you're looking for something that doesn't have a million steps, if you want something that's going to be summer safe no matter what activity you're going to be involved in this summer, then this video is for you. I've already applied my skincare base, which skincare base is especially so important in the summertime to help your makeup to be able to stay on your face. If you're interested in learning more about what to include in your skincare base, I'll leave a video for you to check it out. I talk about a skincare base so much and having a good one because I truly believe that if you take care of your skin, it will take care of you. Not only will having that skincare base make your skin look better, but it will also make sure the makeup looks better on you. It will last longer, all good things. So make sure you have a good skincare base before you ever start to put on any makeup. All right, let's get started. This is something I don't usually do all the time, mainly for more dramatic looks, but because it is the summertime. We are gonna be sweating a lot. I am gonna be outside a lot more. We're gonna use a primer. This is my new favorite primer. It's the Colleen Rothschild Black Tourmaline Face Primer. It's black, which was really strange to me. I did an Instagram post on this. And I just thought it was so interesting. It's made with black truffle. Definitely more like a skincare base type product. So honestly, maybe I shouldn't have even mentioned it in this part because it's not really makeup, but technically it is because it's a primer, but it feels like skincare, which is awesome. We're not going for a foundation. Slowly trying to get myself away from foundations. I feel like they can be very cakey. And if I'm always doing foundation, I feel like it's overkill. That's just my opinion. Right now I'm gonna use the Say Slip Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 35 Sunscreen. We're all about that extra sun protection, even though I already have a sunscreen on my face for my skincare base. More is good, more is, more is great. I'm in the color four. I just did a one and a half pumps and I'm gonna apply this like I would my normal foundation, even though it's a lot like Lighter, a lot more liquidy. We're still gonna apply it like a foundation. I'm gonna use the Sephora 64 brush. Such a great blending brush. It's just gonna give me a light coverage. Nice little filter effect. Feels really good on the skin. Doesn't feel like it's clogging my pores. I feel really light. And that's also something that I love when it comes to summertime makeup looks. When your face feels cakey, it's like the worst feeling ever. It just feels super light and amazing. I'm kind of embarrassed to share this next step with you because I'm going back on my word. I stopped using Anastasia Brow Wiz for my brows because I thought it was pulling my hair out, which the faulty pencil was pulling my eyebrow hairs out. It was the second faulty pencil that I received from them. And I told you guys that I I wasn't gonna buy from them again. We're using Anastasia brow pencil again. I just had to get this because it was starting to get very frustrating to me when I was doing my eyebrows. Getting so frustrated with like the coloring. I was getting frustrated with other pencils. I felt like they were kind of like the same, but like less controllable. So it's taking me a lot longer to do my brows. If there's anything that I dislike the most about doing my makeup, it's my brows. The Anastasia just makes it easy for me. So until I find something else, I'll let you know. We're still on the lookout. Hope you're not too mad at me <laughs> for changing things up like that. I interchangeably will draw in with the pencil. I like this pencil because it's so light. And then I will go in with the spoolie to brush it up to make it even more natural looking. Don't want it too dark because ooh, you don't want to play with the sun and being outside and having too much brow makeup on. That is not fun. So we're going a little bit lighter than I usually would. To set that, I'm gonna use the Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the color Dutch. And I'm gonna just go really light with this and start in the middle just to kind of make sure things stay in place all day long. And it also adds some coloring to the brows as well to kind of give them a finished look. If you have thick and luscious brows already or you like how they are and you don't need to fill them in, just get this, use it as a gel and just a slight tint and it will just make your brows look amazing. Brows are done, now let's move on to concealer. When I'm doing more of a natural base like today, I only use a skin tint. I like to go a little heavier on the concealer, kind of compensate for not having a foundation. Today I'm gonna use the Hourglass Beach, B-E-C-H Vanish Concealer. This is a really good concealer. I'm gonna apply it where I usually apply and just be light with it because it is a lot thicker. I'm gonna do my favorite line here to highlight part of my face. That helps kind of slim things down a little bit more. Just focus on my bone structure that I still have left. I'm going to take a flat shader brush. We're gonna take some of that and finish up that brow look. This is the key. That line will make any brow look look so good if you just do that. It makes it clean, it makes it fresh, it makes you look like a pro. Now I'm gonna take my trusty beauty blender and we're gonna blend this out. The hourglass, um, Concealer does dry really fast. It's a really great concealer, but you have to be mindful of that because it does dry a lot quicker than I feel like most concealers that I use. So you just gotta be quick with it. Blending is the key. And blend up, really get that nice tightened 
appearance. The best way to get a nice tightened, lifted face without having to go in and get filler and all this other stuff. You can do it with your makeup and give the illusion of that. I'm gonna take a small blending brush. This one is from Urban Decay. I'm just gonna kind of blend that out so we don't have any harsh lines underneath that brow. Bronzer. And guess what? Your girl's not gonna use her favorite bronzer this time. In the summertime, I like to go for powdered bronzers because I just feel like they last longer. So I'm gonna use the Sigma powder bronzer in the color medium. I'm taking the BH Cosmetics 124 brush. I love the slant, the point, because it really helps you get in good with your contour lines, especially with some bronzer. And I take this and I go in a circular motion like so. I'm just gonna darken up my natural contour line, but really blend that in to make it look nice and natural. Top part of my forehead, bronze that up a little bit. As you can see already, the color is coming into my face. We're gonna define this, cause your girl needs all the help she can get with this fluffy face that we're getting from this pregnancy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a fluffy blending brush. This is from MAC and it is the 224 brush. We're gonna use this brush again, but just keep this in mind. This is the best blending brush for me. I'm going to do a slight contour on my nose. Nothing crazy. We're just gonna take that bronzer and just draw a small line, two lines, down the center of my nose just to give me a nice bronze. And there. I cap it off. Blend out the Sephora 64. Using a blending brush actually does help the lines not to be so harsh. So that's just a tip if you wanna do a nose contour but you're kinda of scared, try it with a blending brush. Now I'm gonna go right into the eye makeup look. We're gonna keep this simple still but we're gonna add a little bit of fuzzazz, if you will, because this is fun. I'm gonna use the Sigma Cor de Rosa palette. I mean, look at these colors. It actually almost looks more like a fall palette instead of summer, but I'll show you what I do because I'm all about bronzed, glowing, type summer makeup looks. That's like my favorite go-to makeup looks in the summer. I'm gonna take Sigma, the E30 pencil brush, and we're gonna use the Belle of the Ball color. This color right here, this is kind of fun. I'm gonna put this into the inner corner of the eye. It also gives the appearance of larger looking eyes, so if you have smaller eyes like myself, then that's also a really good trick for you to do. Always apply lighter colors in the inner corner of the eye and then darker on the outer. Now I'm gonna go in with that same blending brush that we used on the nose, and I'm gonna use the color Barefoot here. It's the darker brown shade. I'm gonna go really light with this because I don't want crazy stuff. We're just gonna do just a little bit. Blend that into the creases super, super lightly, guys. I love how pigmented this eyeshadow palette is. Eyeshadow can do so much for you, especially if you play with your natural shape eye. So there's so many ways, depending on your eye shape, what you can do. First dabbing and then in circular motions, blending it out and not being afraid to hit that crease. Circular, circular motion. Just make sure that there's no like weird uh, lines. When in doubt, blend it out and you are all set. I'm gonna take that same brown color, the barefoot color, and I'm gonna take another brush. This is the 165 MAC brush. It's a small shader brush. You wanna go super light because you don't want it to be like heavy and like goth looking, but go light with the powder and blend super lightly. Having the right brush is gonna help you out a lot. I go back and forth with that motion to help with blending. If you're not doing the mouth thing, you're not doing it right. Now I'm gonna take my pinky finger and just kind of rub that in very lightly, be gentle. Give me more of a natural feel. Eyelash curler. We're not wearing falsies. You could apply some falsies onto this look if you just wanted to do something a little bit more extra and immediately turn this look into a glam look. L'Oreal Telescopic, of course. Favorite classic great mascara. It's the best. Who needs falsies when you have L'Oreal Telescopic? I'm gonna get down there on the bottom. I'm obsessed with opening up my eyes with mascara on the bottom lashes. It just really does something for my eyes, I feel like. Doing the second coat because it's essential. I like to save my blush after this because I just, I like the flow of doing my blush after my eye makeup. We're bringing back an old favorite. We're gonna use the Makeup by Mario Soft Coral Blush Stick. I need to use it because you know makeup does expire. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply this. I love peachy colors for summer. And it comes with a brush, so that makes it easy. I don't always use this brush that he has, but we're doing it today. We're blending it into the cheek line and the bronze line, as you can see so that it meets. That's how I like to apply my blush, but you wanna make sure that you're applying it correctly for your face shape. This works for my face shape. His brush is good, but it ain't like 
amazing. I'm gonna use my Sigma Multitasker F47. This is so beautiful when it comes to cream brushes. Like, look at, look at what it just did there. It just made it look so natural and like blended. Get yourself a synthetic base brush for any of your cream blushes that you might be using. Now we're gonna apply a highlighter. This is absolutely optional. This is their High Glow in Ref Rose. You don't have to use a lot of this. It plays really well with cream blushes. I kind of just stick it where I want my highlight to be. I'm actually going to put it underneath my brow line too and take my beauty blender. Give myself a nice pretty glow. Eee. It complements the inner corner of that eye makeup really nice. It just helps bring that out. For lips, I like to go so light in the summer especially. I usually don't like to wear lipstick. Kylie's makeup brand, it's either a hit or miss for me. Really apprehensive about this when they sent this to me, but I tried it and I love it guys. Oof. This is her color pink me up at eight okay this is so cute and it's so moisturizing to me it doesn't feel like a lipstick it feels like it it's a tinted chapstick like that's what it feels like i don't know if you remember those maybelline tinted chapsticks and they were like such a big thing i don't know if they're still around but i used to love those this kind of gives me like a throwback it's super moisturizing and then when it kind of wears away it doesn't look like the colors faded it kind of just blends into your natural lips this was definitely a win for kylie it's time to set this with a setting spray this is the for the life of me i always forget how to pronounce this brand that is the brand i'm so sorry I've heard so many different pronunciations of this brand. That's why I think it confuses me. This is their Everyday Vacay Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. I mean, what makes you think of summer more? I love the smell. I love the results of it. It actually does keep my makeup in place and it feels like really substantial. So that is the makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please let me know in the comment section what you think. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos. I'm so grateful to have you. Thank you so much for 90K. Oh my gosh. I know we're, we're I'm late, but like, whoa. I wanted a career in YouTube since I was 15 years old and you guys have made that a reality for me. So I am so grateful. For the last five years, I've appreciated each and every one of you for supporting me. Thank you guys for making my dreams come true. I love you so much and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.